On Tech It Out, we keep bringing you updates from the world of robotics. It's time to look at an emerging category of robots that have gained significant momentum over the last few years. Here's more. Meet Arya, a humanoid robot. Developed by Las Vegas-based Real Botics, the humanoid robot uses AI technology to understand and answer users' questions. Hello, Arya. How are you today? I'm feeling fun and ready to have a great conversation with you. Can you tell me an interesting fact? Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. I've been thinking about the weather and wondering when it's going to warm up. Weather can be quite a topic. A little sunshine can definitely brighten the day. What makes Arya unique is her human-like skin. Powered by ChatGPT4 and other open-source large language models, Arya's AI can be programmed to provide support in areas such as product communication, academic assistance, or medical inquiries. That's not all. The company believes Arya can also prove helpful when it comes to alleviating loneliness and enhancing connection. Thinking about the, the loneliness epidemic that is all over the world, ironically, be, I think could be because of uh, digital technology. But the point is, I think that lonely people crave connection and you don't always get that type of, you know, fruition of that, that craving through a screen. And I think this, this will allow a conduit for that kind of interaction with technology because it looks and, and resembles a human being. Look at this. This is Barista. The service robot can not only brew a perfect cup of coffee, but it can also recognize objects and navigate environments. Although the robot is not as fast as a human barista at the moment, the company says it is working on a model that will be faster and able to work longer hours than human baristas. For years, handling delicate items like food has been a challenge for traditional robotic arms. Perhaps not anymore. Using optical tactile sensing technology, a Japanese company has created human-like tactical sensors for enhanced object manipulation. In other words, the new technology allows robots to automate complex tasks, such as placing varied and irregularly shaped food items on lunchbox assembly lines. We have already installed our robot system, including this tactile technology, into actual food factories. And then in the, in the factory, actually, the robot system can pick on a place with uh, like really fragile food. But uh, our, with our robot system, it, the food doesn't drop, get dropped, and also food doesn't get deformed or got broken. And then uh, our robot could do the pick and place into a lunchbox. And the lunchbox is actually delivered to actual people. This is a floor cleaning robot developed by Dream, a Chinese appliance manufacturer. Unlike traditional floor cleaning robots that get stuck here and there, this robot vacuum can stand up and navigate obstacles. Simply put, the robot vacuum can climb steps and slide under furniture while efficiently cleaning various areas. The coolest thing that we're doing with the ProLeap system is we're able to get to spaces that we weren't able to before. So there's a LiDAR on top and that's going to 360 scan. It's going to use AI to say, okay, I can climb that or I can't. If it can, there's a dual rotation motor inside that brings out two little legs that pop up ledges. Imagine this, the sun is blazing. Temperatures are soaring, and you're dreaming of a refreshing dip in your backyard pool. But wait, before you dive in, there's one major obstacle, pool maintenance. Cleaning your pool can be a real hassle, but what if there was a simpler way? A China-based tech company is aiming to change just that. The company has built a cordless underwater robotic pool cleaner. We have a robot that not only charges itself inside the water, but it charges with solar technology, which is the ultimate uh, goal to try to save a little bit of the world. And also that robot, it also cleans itself. So everything that picks up from the bottom of the pool, it extracts and it holds in a compartment outside of the pool 
that you can hold up to 30 days of debris from the pool. So it's easy to manage, pull, clean, and put it back and let the robot do their, their feature. The world of robotics is witnessing a major shift in its applications, moving beyond industrial settings and into everyday life. It wouldn't be wrong to say the rest of the world looks promising.